of uh, it's, it's, it reminds me of like the Marth matchup. If if Captain Falcon gets in, you guys, you guys right? Like, uh, yeah, I think that's the that's just the challenge is how well how well Link is able to ke actually keep talking out is is uh, tremendous. Toon Link, Link does have pretty good zoning with the. Uh, <laughs> okay, hang on. All right, guys. So I'm doing this out of guilt. So this Sunday, if you guys like any other FGC FGC games like uh, Street Fighter, Guilty Gear, all that, come come to Sunny to Plum Hollow. Come to uh come to the Midwest Monthly. The FGC guys have always been really supportive of all their fighting scenes, wow. and they got Pokin. So if you guys like Pokin, come out to that. Yeah, that you guys heard it here, folks. Uh, what 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 is it? Uh, it's the at, okay. It's a Midwest Monthly. Midwest Monthly, okay. On, on this Sunday. Okay. So, oh. ag again, if you guys are interested. Yeah, there's, there's totally a lot, there is a lot going yeah, on. Yeah, totally look, totally look it up. But back to the match. We're going to we're gonna get right into it, right into Smashville. So, Meow. Meow's biggest strength definitely is his ground control. With his extended dance dancing, his his good spacing on his, uh, gra on his dash grabs, too. You know, I was actually talking to him. He said his biggest weakness as Falcon is, is sometimes staying too grounded. Yeah. Uh, not not utilizing enough of Falcon's air game. But there he goes right there, utilizing it right there with the falling up air. Very good combo starter for Captain Falcon as he gets in and strings a few together. Getting on a, some good early percent. So far, these two are just trying to feel each other out right now. Um, I would have like I would have liked to see Blue Danes try and go for more perfect, uh, more up tilts. He want, like he got the one, you know, that's guaranteed. And then he kind of followed up with an air. He probably could have gotten more damage if he did a like maybe one or two more up tilts. Cause yeah. that, cause that up tilt has really low knockback, but well, right now he just needs to focus on building this damage, just kind of poking away and using his arsenal, his tool bag, to keep that, keep Meow at bay right now. Because me, right, Meow's kind of running all over the stage, and he's kind of just power shielding his way in and getting a lot of percent. So he's he's definitely playing Ooh. matchup right, and he spikes him into the Nether. That was a v very well timed up tilt by by uh, Meow there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfectly timed, and that's going to give him the early stock advantage. So Meow putting out a good showing so far, and looks like Blue Dane is going to have to get pretty creative here as yeah. he looks to take off his stock, but without Rage now. And 90%, you're sitting in a good spot. And plus the fact that, you know, Toon Links thrive off being on the lead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gonna, It's, right. it's going to make it hard for uh, to, for Blue Dane to try and get something going. But that up smash at the ledge was a good idea, but unfortunately it's just not working out for him. Yeah, right now Blue Dane's kind of struggling a little bit. He finds the platform and oh my He just goodness. went for it. Yeah. I mean, put it all on the table. Jeez. Kind of, uh, he just dropped down from the platform and he called him right out with the dare. You, using the really good zone breaking of Cat Falcon to just run down there. He read the tether and just went down and went for it. Zone breaking, that is that is the main word, right? Yeah, he, Cat Falcon is the zone breaker. He can get zoned out, but he'll break that zone like just like that. Yeah, definitely a key to the matchup here. Yeah. As we saw, it, you know, put on a clinic a little bit for, for Blue Dane. It so. was a little bit of a clinic. Uh, <laughs> Blue Dane's, Blue Dane's had some stuff working. He had some of his zoning working, but then it's just like, I don't know. He just, he, once when he got zone broke, once his zone got broken, Meow just decimated him. Mm -hmm. Kind of like on this first stock. Watch. Yeah, he kind of got chewed up off stage a little bit. So Cap, uh, Meow doing a great job of edge guarding. Uh, so, you know, I think a little more get, uh, stage control is, is necessary for Blue Danes in this matchup. But now we're going to see Pikachu come out, and this is definitely a strong counter pick as well as his Dreamland. Yeah, and here, and there this is one of the reasons why the up tilts, it makes it. Kata Falcon has a very hard time escaping those combos. It's like that. That's 45% damage right there. Yeah, that crazy damage output from Pikachu being put on full display early on here. But hey, it's still a pretty even game, and Meow is still working with it. I think right now Meow's biggest goal is just to keep uh, keep Blue Danes in the air. I think that's the biggest thing he can do. Uh, string some up airs together and uh, just try to get a confirm on him as quickly as possible. Yeah, I want to try. I want to try and see Blue Danes take advantage of uh, Piku Pikachu's uh, pancaking from uh, the back air because something I learned about the matchup is Pikachu pancakes right in front of Cat and the jab or the jab won't hit him. Okay. And you know how Cat is usually out for that usually so. That, that makes the match very annoying for him, usually. Yeah, just Pikachu size in general really uh, really can tilt a lot of Falcons. Blue Dane. the jab right there. Yeah, Blue Dane's wanted a super hard read there, but just not getting it. Once again, Meow putting so much pressure on the edge, but once uh, once Blue Dane gets center stage, he, he definitely feels a lot more comfortable 
Right now we have um, Yon looking from the inside in, but uh oh, the outside in. I meant. Yeah, Blue Danes, Blue Danes was anticipating that Meow would go over him, and you know he landed right in the sweet spot of his match, but not working out right there for him. And this is where kind of Pikachu struggles: lack of a uh, kill setups and not the really hard time killing. <laughs> Absolutely, but he'll take that trade right there. Almost sending Blue Danes off the top, but hey, cleans it right up yep, with the, the up air. Very nice up there. Very nice up air there by Meow. Yeah, really just a good call out. Um, but, oh, Thunder kind of getting, I don't know, the wind might have yeah. pushed him a little bit. And no, no, the platform it, no I, think, I think the DI, I think DI helped him there. Because Wispy, Wispy really, Wispy's wind doesn't really push, like suck him in. It would have sucked him in that situation, but it doesn't. So, but still, it it was just really good DI from Meow there. Oh, and that, that up air. Yeah. I, I think. Yeah. Might have been a little bit suspect DI because that, uh, that Pikachu's up air is not very strong. Yeah, especially with uh, the low percent on Pikachu. But he was at 150 and he was towards the top of the uh, top of the stage. So I yeah, mean, it, was, it was a lot of weird things. It was a lot of there was probably a lot of factors that a went into that. But regardless, so he'll take that as it cleans up the stocks and brings us back to even. Now he's working his way back, comboing me out into Oblivion. Uh oh, a little overextension, but he's gonna get away with it and get a grab out of it. And Blue Danes wanted to get the edge guard there, but we are able to react to that and just, you know, avoid that edge guard situation because you don't want to get edge guarded by Pikachu. I think Meow needs to clean up his plate just a little bit. But right now he's getting kind of torn apart. Oh, and it didn't jump right there, but I think that platform was going to interfere regardless. Yeah, it would have interfered. Yeah, it makes it a little hard for Pikachu on this stage. That's why I'm surprised they kind of went here. But oh, trying Blue, for it. Blue Danes just kind of went for it there and. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, Blue Danes has been kind of uh, unrelentless. With the uh, with the thunder conversions, but he hasn't been able to nail a single one just yet. So um, we'll see if he can find one. But oh, he doesn't need it. He needs an up smash instead. The, reading the roll, get, reading the roll from Meow, getting that clean up smash, taking game two. In a yeah. So that was, a, that was a good clean up right there from. Uh, oh. Huh? Oh. I gotta play him. So. Ah. Yes, you do. Yeah, I, I'm gonna. In a minute. So. Yeah, we're gonna finish up this set real quick first, then we'll let you go. Yeah. So. <laughs> Good, good, good counter, pick, good counter picks, character wise and stage wise from Blue Danes. So, what, what, what do you think the stage should? He will probably be? bans uh, Final Destination. I would mm. think, or no, he probably bans Lilat. He probably bans Lilat, and they probably actually end up on FD. I don't know. Pikachu, uh, he, they probably end up on FD. Well, uh, both Pikachu, both Pikachu and Catafalcon usually do pretty oh, good on the stage. Okay. That's, that was my second guess. It was gonna. I was thinking he was going to ban Town of City because of the low platform, low stage, low ceiling, but obviously Blue Danes, obviously Blue Danes feels fine about that. So. All right. Well, regardless, we're going to get right into it. Town and City is the cho is the choice, and uh, wow. Meow. Yeah, Meow <laughs> off to a very strong start, almost trying to get that dare to. Yeah, and that was what I was talking about. That's Pikachu's uh, low, low hitbox. You could just. Go if he gets pancake or he crouches, he could just go underneath that jab, uh -huh. and that's just. Yeah. And Falcon's jab is pretty crucial for him to work. Yeah, Blue Dane's really just playing to Pikachu's advantages in this matchup and trying to utilize it to bring this back a little bit. But Meow's still uh, in control in the driver's seat, but nice up air retaliation Ooh. to get back on stage. Yeah, I wanted to get the clean kill right there, but the execution just wasn't there. Yeah, just a little overextension. That tiny hurt box of Pikachu. All right. I like I like Blue Danes just using the Nair just to kind of you know go for the hit. If not, it's safe. You can get away. Yeah, and good on Meow for respecting it. Cause uh oh, oh, I don't know if Down Smash would have been the most optimal punish. He probably could have probably could have opted for a grab, try and get more combos out of it, <laughs> trying to extend the amount of Ooh. damage. But that right. dare almost killing him. <laughs> All right, and Blue Danes continuously quick attacking back on stage, but Captain Fal P Meow reading. Reading the option, and you got the kill off that. That was, uh, I didn't expect him to die from that. No, the up throw, kind of up throw does kill pretty, pretty respectfully, I want to say. But I wonder about a DI mix up, though, because honestly, it kind of didn't look like he was going to die from that at first. Yeah, the, the small scene on the town city, I think, really came in handy for that one. Because yeah. Granted Meow didn't really have too much rage. So. Yeah, so, uh, well, you know, Ooh. however you can get it. And here we find ourselves in stock two, and, uh, and there's that pancake again. Yeah, that's yeah. A, that's a great tool to be using this matchup. But even with that, Blue Danes is still down a whole stock, and he's already at 70%. He's taking a lot of percent. He's trying to find this stock, 
And uh, when, when it comes to killing with Pikachu, he really hasn't, he doesn't seem to be well versed in getting those conversions. Yeah, he's, tr he's, tr he's trying more for a read, like a yeah. roll read, and that forward smash is going to beat out that forward air. Meow yeah, Meow going to take that 2 1 over, over Blue Danes. Good, good stuff to. Meow, good stuff to Blue Danes too. Yeah, he really seemed to struggle to get the kill, so I think if, if he's if Pikachu is something he wants to work on, 